NASA leader Ilo Dinga is expected back in the country by Thursday after a week-long visit of the United States. But back at home, his lieutenants and supporters are charging towards his return. Once he's back in the country, NASA leader Ilo Dinga is expected to unveil an action plan, a plan that will give the details of the activity by NASA, especially when the coalition is calling for fresh, credible presidential election and reforms at the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission. The opposition plans to resist the re-election of President Uhuru Kenyatta has gained momentum with four of the 19 counties it controls having passed and adopted a motion seeking to create people's assemblies and the devolved units as well as the rejection of President Uhuru Kenyatta's re-election. Odinga withdrew from the repeat presidential poll, protesting lack of reforms at the electoral body. The 26th of August race was won by President Uhuru Kenyatta, whose re-election is being challenged through petitions filed at the Supreme Court. And with NASA threatening to swear in Raila Odinga, should Kenyatta's re-election be upheld by the Apex Court and plans for swearing in the president-elect materialized, religious leaders have been calling for dialogue. The opposition coalition says they are not welcome and a parallel swearing-in ceremony remains part of its strategy. <laughs> The formation of the People's Assemblies have been interpreted as part of NASA's wider scheme to push for secession. But even as focus is directed once again at the Supreme Court, leaders here avoided to talk about the petitions filed at the Supreme Court, challenging the validity of the repeat poll. Enoxicolia, NTV, in the county of Nairobi.